What's up everyone? It's officially November. That means it's getting colder and colder and this is the perfect weather in my opinion. I love wearing just different jackets and coats and long sleeves and pants, whatever else it may be. I just love wearing all that stuff and fall is just the perfect time of year. So anyway, I'm just going to show you all some different outfits that I've seen on uh, Pinterest and Instagram and just some that I put together myself and I posted on Instagram just to give you all some more inspiration and stuff for this season. So let's go ahead and talk about it. Starting off, you know you can't talk about fall weather without having a coat in here, especially a long coat, a trench coat, and these are my just favorite type of coat to wear. Any long coat, really, I'm just gonna wear it and love it to death, but this is something that I wore the other day, and this is just a long trench coat, and it's a London fall coat. Now, I wanna say I got it off of Mercari or Poshmark. It was one of those resale apps like Mercari, Poshmark, Depop, one of those, I really can't remember, but it was very cheap and it actually has a lining in it. If it's like even colder then I guess whatever. If it's cold, there's an extra lining you could like zip up in the jacket and that'll give you some extra insulation in there. But this is a very lightweight jacket. I have the lining in just for that extra protection because I usually wear like short sleeves on under the jacket. But there's a regular uh, London Fog trench coat. I have on a thrifted t-shirt on black jeans and some black converse and it's a very simple outfit but just shows how you can wear these long coats during this fall weather and it'll look great and make any outfit look so much better. Moving on to this next outfit here, there's a guy he has on a yellow sweatsuit and this isn't Pangaea but it's just a sweatsuit I love, just a monochromatic look that sweatsuits have and he did something a little different and this is like a quilted liner vest, I'm really not sure the exact name of what you would call it but it's like that tree camo and it's a vest on over the sweatsuit. And this is a different look, but it's definitely something that I don't mind. And he has like a matching uh, forest green colored bucket hat and some shoes. I have no idea what company those are, but this is a very nice outfit. It's something that's very different, but unique at the same time. It's just a different way to spruce up the sweatsuit and to do something different. And that vest definitely gets the job done. I say this is extremely different and unique and I really don't mind it. I love this outfit a lot. The next outfit that I want to talk about is one that I posted on Instagram and this is just a very simple outfit. It's a thrifted sweatshirt that says Vail Colorado on it and I got this off from Mercari very cheap like $20 something like that and these jeans are Levi's jeans I want to say $5.50 or $5.05 I'm really not sure. Anyway, they're like the loose fit, light colored Levi jeans. Just kind of that loose and baggy fit that's kind of trendy now, whatever you want to call it. And the Travis Scott Jordan 1s, just another very simple neutral color to tie together the outfit. And as you see, I have all my jewelry, all the necklaces, bracelets, watches, all that stuff. You can't forget to wear because it'll just elevate any outfit and just really take it to the next level. And this is just a very simple outfit. Sweatshirts are always going to be in. I mean, they're, it's a very... It's just a staple piece. I really don't know how to describe it. And yeah, just a very simple outfit and you can't go wrong with this. This next outfit is one that I really like because it's just a regular like fleece or like Sherpa type jacket. And it looks like he has on a gray sh uh, sweatshirt on under it and a white t-shirt on under the gray, the gray sweatshirt. I don't know if you all can see that. But these pants are really interesting to me because it looks like a... I really can't tell if they're like chinos or a faux leather or what. But it's like a patchwork type thing on the pants is like the brown and then the like tan colored patch on the pants I don't I really don't know how to describe it but they're very interesting to me and just regular it looks like Adidas shoes or Nike shoes something like that but and a white hat too just to tie together the outfit and it's just very simple but different at the same time like I said that like fleece jacket is just really different not the fleece jacket, the pants are, are really different, just that patchwork on it. And the fleece jacket just to tie together the look and it would be kind of monochromatic without the gray sweatshirt, but it's fine as the way it is. This next outfit is for those very chilly fall mornings, I'd say, or fall nights and evenings. But as you see, this guy here has on just a like brown and tan colored, I'm not sure what you'd call this because it's like a puffer jacket and it's not really so puffed, but just kind of an insulated winter jacket and those are extremely warm and he has on a beanie too looks like a cream or light gray colored beanie white work pants and some jordans this is a very like street and trendy style outfit but also keeps you warm too that jacket will literally get the job done those are extremely warm and very simple outfit but very nice and put together at the same time the shoes and jacket are very matchy matchy that i usually that i usually don't go for in outfits but I don't mind it here. I hope you all enjoyed these fall outfits. Like I said, it's getting colder and colder, so that means you're gonna have to just start 
kind of layering your outfits or wearing coats and jackets and even the thicker jackets or your long sleeve sweatshirts, whatever else you may have, it's time to just pull all those out. And I hope you all found some inspiration in this video. Like I said, I love just like looking through Pinterest and Instagram and just seeing all the different outfits that people wear on social media. And I get some inspiration for it and that's why I picked some of my favorite outfits and so you all just so you all could get some inspiration from it too. So I hope you all like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I post on here twice a week. Also like this video, follow me on Instagram at Micah Aiken so you can see all the different outfits that I wear and I'll see you all next time.